how to introduce financial literacy to your kids through gamification. So this is a huge conversation. How do kids learn? They learn by playing games, having fun, and having experiences, not by just sitting and taking notes and regurgitating. That's a really old school style of learning. And in the style of learning that I was taught, even in adult learning theory, it's called experiential learning. So experiential learning puts the kid in the experience, in the environment, and they actually get to have fun. And what do all kids have? I've seen kids as young as a year holding one of these devices called your phone. And instead of, you know, parenting, this is your new babysitter. And then they might grow up to an iPad or some sort of kids thing. Regardless, that's not what we're talking about. There's three things I want to share with you. How to actually use gamification and a very cool software that I'm a huge part of that we're going to invite you and your families to use. Number two, what are the skills? There's some base skills. So the base skills come right out of this. And what are the checklists that come with it, which is the Make Your Kids Millionaires book. And then number three, how do you actually get the empowerment and the responsibility and consequences in their life versus entitlement? And I can tell you, we are in a world of participation and entitlement like that's enough to win the game called life. When there comes to any games, there's a winner and a loser. Not going to talk about that. We'll get that in the video. Let's go back to the gamification. So I'm part of a group called Gravy Stack. It's a financial technology that actually is a bank for kids. It has three pipes. How do you actually make money? And then once you make it, it goes into a debit card. So you're going to spend it. So let's just say your kid is set up to make a thousand dollars a month, which is not difficult. That's 250 a week. Divide by five, that's $50 a day. Any kid of yours that is over eight years old can make 250 in a week. You say, well, how they going to do it? Well, go get gravy stack. So the link is in the below and it's all gamified through missions and gigs. There's a villain that's going to be, you know, coming around trying to actually sabotage you because in real life there are, there's identity theft, there's, you know, all sorts of different, you know, things that are going to happen in the areas of business and money, but it's teaching your child to be an entrepreneur. And if your kids love, you know, whether it's Minecraft or Fortnite, Call of Duty, any of those, if your kids love those, they're getting rewarded through upgrades and tokens and better avatars. They like bill them all the time. So in Gravy Stack, we're not billing you. It's just a flat monthly small fee for you to be in games and teach kids home finance, home economics, business economics. How does this work? How do you live responsibly through it? See, unless your kids are required to actually participate and parents, you stop being the kid's bank, they're gonna end up entitled participation, maybe trust fund babies or maybe broke. So most financial behaviors come from where the family is. So what are you doing, parents, to actually bring more financial literacy to your house? Other things I'm going to suggest is that you actually do go get this. Get Make Your Kids Millionaires at the makeyourkidsmillionaires.com. It's a link below. So get that. And why get it on my site? It's a little more than it is out at Amazon. It's cheaper there, but you don't get $1,500 worth of bonuses. And then you're not in my database and I can't continue to give you more great information. So the other place is be here on this channel. Subscribe, click the notification button. And any kid over five years old, this is a family friendly channel designed intentionally for you to learn and bring financial literacy. So I'm talking to you. Have your kid watch the same videos that you're watching. Say, what did you learn? What did you learn? What are we going to do about it? And we actually have a journal. So go grab one of our journals. We just put them out on the market and it's what are you learning and what are you doing from this channel to start recreating a better financial life for you and your family. You can also play through gamification through real games. I love board games. Kids love board games. So I would do a combination of gravy stack and take them out of there. Go to Monopoly, Cashflow, Thrive Time, Sharon Lecter's Game, Millionaire Maker, Here's my game. So we're going to give you a discount code to go grab my game. By the way, we are on our final run. We are less than about 950 games left. We are not going to reprint them. So if you think you're going to always be able to get a game, you won't. This was our last run of putting that board game out into the market. So go grab it. We're giving you a discount code in the description below. Now, what are the financial skills? Well, that's deep into the game. I can tell you it is everything you need to know about becoming a millionaire and entrepreneurship. So it's from making money. How do you handle debt? We we handle it from a good debt perspective. We keep debt. Debt is not something you want to get rid of. You want to use it and manage it properly. And a lot of you don't do that at all. We don't budget. We have a whole section called forecasting. How do you spend your money when you're living inside corporate life? So this is a big gift video. If you haven't gone to my millionaire intensive, there's two tickets below. I want you there with your kids. Buy the VIP replay. So if they're at school, which they, most of them will be, so they can actually watch it, buy the replay and sit and watch it on a weekend with them and start talking about how you and your 
family could make more money. Instead of not, I can't afford it and don't ask for anything and those horrible negative language patterns, start getting the skills, number one, your language, your behavior of what can we do to make more money as a family. Garage sell your house. Do you know how many people I have said to do online garage sales and sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, get rid of a ton of stuff. I've had families literally make well into five figures by just selling stuff online. As a family, everybody contributes to what do you want to sell? What are you not using? How can we start making some money? And then you'll get more sophisticated. But in the beginning, do easy stuff with your kids. I had my kids had smoothie businesses. Tristan used to do these little paper wallets, which would fit like hundred dollar bills in them. And she would custom design them. She would do different little art notes. You could do jewelry, all sorts of different things the kids can do to start making money. Get them thinking that mom and dad aren't the bank, right? You're not their financial institute. Their ability to make money starts when they are really young. Mine started at four and five years old. So when it comes to empowerment, in my mind, that is responsibility and consequences. So when you get the book, there's going to be a program there that's called Never Pay Your Kids an Allowance. So when you go through that, you're going to identify tasks and they only get paid on what they do. Gravy stacks, similar. You're going to design the account on gigs and missions. Like what are they going to do and how many gigs to make how much money? So my daughter, Tristan, and I do this every Sunday. We meet and we think like, what did she do this week that yes, she's going to get paid for. So it's a different amount every week, depending on what she did. Consequences are it's not a flat amount. And if she doesn't do it, she's not paid. So for a while she made $18 and she made 20 something dollars. And just recently she made five because that week wasn't a strong week for her getting any gigs done. So there has to be consequences and rules, like anything that the kids don't need. Like if they want to upgrade this, I pay for half because if they don't need it and this is functioning, they're fine. But if they want something bigger, my daughter wants one of those hoverboards, right? So here's the deal. I pay half, you pay half. So how are you going to make the money to do it? So at 16, 17, she's babysitting, nannying, she's done a little tutoring, all sorts of different tasks and things, but never pay an allowance. She designs a monthly income. That's what they get to live on for certain parts of their spending. So a lot to teach you in the kids department. There are checklists age by age here. Make sure you grab the book. Go to asklaurel.com at any time. Ask a question, make a request and be here on this channel. But another thing you could just do on a weekend is grab that journal and binge watch for 25 hours. There's a link below to bench and we're going to give you $750 of tuition credit to apply to something new where we're going to support and help you. So can't wait to meet you. Can't wait to meet your family and help these kids become entrepreneurs, if not millionaires. Talk to you tomorrow.